In the waning days of my challenge to Speaker Paul Ryan, the Speaker reversed course and argued TPP is bad. But Speaker Ryan never mentioned that TPP relinquishes U.S. sovereignty to unelected foreign bureaucrats by giving each of the 12 countries one vote. Eleven other countries get to determine the future of the United States. And suddenly, Speaker Ryan claims TPP needs to be renegotiated, but he fails to explain exactly why TPP is so dangerous. In a speech at a local tool manufacturer in Racine, Wisconsin, the Monday before the primary, Ryan disingenuously made the case for trade deals, saying the U.S. needs to engage on the world stage. He insinuated that those opposed to TPP do not want trade. Nothing could be further from the truth. We do need trade, but we need bilateral trade deals. We need to flex America's muscle when we negotiate a trade deal. The only way to do that is one-on-one. -on -one. That's what bilateral means, and it means America's vote is equal to the vote of the country we're dealing with. See how much more powerful we are with only one other trading partner? When Ryan was specifically asked about the Trans-Pacific Partnership by a worker, he criticized the deal, saying it needs to be renegotiated and that the votes aren't there to pass it. There's just one problem with Speaker Ryan's conversion on TPP. Speaker Ryan is to blame for preventing Congress from going back to the drawing board to fix TPP. This is the same Paul Ryan who was the mercenary champion of the so-called Fast Track, or Trade Promotion Authority. TPA greases the skids for TPP and hands the reins for the trade deal over to Obama. But Ryan continues to misrepresent what TPA means. He claims that the TPA gave the USTR the ability to negotiate trade agreements. That is a bald-faced lie. After all, the USTR has been negotiating the TPP for more than half a decade now and only just got Trade Promotion Authority in June of 2015. All Trade Promotion Authority really does is tie Congress's hands so that it can no longer ask the trade representative to go back and renegotiate sections because the whole point of the TPA is that it limits congressional authority to a simple yes or no vote and actually prevents Congress from entirely modifying the TPP agreement. Paul Ryan whipped the votes in Congress to pass Trade Promotion Authority while claiming that the USTR would follow Congress's instructions. In fact, Speaker Ryan wanted to ensure that the only edits that could be made to TPP would be made by President Obama or a future President Hillary Clinton. Speaker Ryan's entire characterization of how TPA and TPP work together is a globalist fairy tale. TPA erased Congress's constitutional role in the trade deal by giving it over to President Obama. And now that President Obama has it, he has released the trigger document. He released it last week on August 12th, and it has a 30-day fuse. That 30 days is up on September 11th, 2016. President Obama's trigger document says we probably won't have to change any federal laws or state laws or local laws, etc., to comply with this trade deal. Again, lies, lies, lies. This trade deal will bring unlimited foreign workers to replace Americans in our jobs here at home. This treaty is a bad trade deal made with countries that use slave labor and who do not protect their workers. This is a deal made with countries that do not have the same environmental protections or food standards that we have in America. And yet, uninspected foreign food will show up on our shelves and there will be no way to stop it. If a local town or county authorities in America tried to stop a shipment of shrimp that was fed pig manure, they could be sued by a foreign corporation for loss of revenue. This trade deal will turn the United States of America into the United States of Asia. This trade deal is NAFTA on steroids and Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, and Speaker Ryan are pushing TPP because they value globalism over America. I hate to say that about anyone. It's harsh, but true. I'm Paul Nealon and I will fight this trade deal on behalf of every American who wants a secure job, a safe America, and a future that doesn't relegate them to an existence of serfdom driven by global elites.